I want the whole office to take personality tests. Am I still terminated or? Yes, absolutely. I'm here to squirt you out. There are no bad ideas. This is one. Your spirituality is fueled by your incessant need to be different. I am going to call security. Ladies, checking in to see how those tests are going. Who's got the better personality? Look, I've been here a long time, and if you don't speak up, folks will walk all over you. I can't control what others do, but I can control how I respond. I'd much rather let the tides take me away than stand on ground that dims my light. So, did you lift here? Or, where'd you go? So, what do you bring to the potluck? Vegan queso. Oh, you mean hot cashew dip. Cause if it's a nut dip, you have to say that. Company policy. You know, this office has always been in need of less dairy-induced phlegm. Wouldn't you agree? In fact, I could give you the recipe. I don't want the recipe. I don't even want this potluck, but we're having one now thanks to you. So label your nut dip and there won't be a problem. timeline do you see for the diversity training? Oh, well, I budgeted about two weeks to plan. The training takes a day and uh, a week and a half for the inevitable glass door reviews and then three days for an impromptu team huddle. That would be such a joy. That's about a month before your journey can take you elsewhere. Mm, yes, and until my sound bath audiobooks generate a bit more passive income, being here is part of that journey. Mm. Well, if that isn't following your bliss, I don't know what is. Warp Tour 2010, that's where I followed my bliss. I like what I'm hearing, ladies, I like what I'm hearing. Oh, actually, I'd love to give you an update on the symposium. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm in. What emoji says boss babe? Uh, the arm? Eh. The pal? Eh. The cat? Eh. The painted nails? Painted nails. Painted nails. Painted nails. And the briefcase. I, I do it this way. Just the painted nails. I cross-referenced everyone's calendars to find an open date for the symposium. Uh -huh. Reserved the conference room in adjacent pods for all breakout sessions, and reached out to the approved list of speakers. I will not let Dick and his thigh hair take the gold. Not this year. <laughs> Which one's Dick? They all are. Gotcha. Well, I think we should also cater lunch and provide some snacks and treats throughout the day from a diverse group of small businesses in the area. Huh? Well, sounds like you have everything under control. Yes, that is what a director of associates does. Now, Vanessa, tell me, do I look like Maria Shapova from the back? Yeah, yes. Can a white woman get a weave? Yeah, yes. Do you have a weave? No, I don't. You can go. Thank you. that matcha provides a gentle ascent into focus, while lion's mane encourages a more universal clarity. I don't know, I like cold brew. I prefer feeling like I could jump off a balcony and survive. Vanessa! A word, please. Of course. Just got pinged by accounting. Yes, I ordered the catering. I thought that I made it crystal clear that this event were to be high impact, low cost. 
$5.25 per taco. Supporting small businesses. Paco's tacos are made by Paco. And three tacos per person. Now, is this a serious company event or is it my binge after Coachella 2015? Trollison! Thoughts. Energy. A communal exchange of nourishment is an invitation to share the deepest parts of us. Communal exchange? You mean a potluck? And that invitation encourages inclusivity. Last time five different people brought grocery store rotisserie chicken. This offering of self is indeed low, low cost, but high impact. We had no sides, just chicken and three bags of chips. Vanessa, please. Joe, listen, this exchange that you speak of. Yes. Let's flow with that. I set up a Slack channel for signups. Okay. I have full faith in your ability to organize a simple office potluck. Communal exchange of nourishment. Right. Well, I don't know how nourishing front desk Jackie's crock pot meatballs are, but that's for you to figure out. Oh, Jackie. Oh, no. <laughs> Jackie, hi. So is your chicken pasture-raised or just free-range? What? Party punch? Party punch. There's nothing festive about glucose spikes, is there? A nice hibiscus tea, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Hibiscus tea. So are we thinking a, a shallow pan fry or a deep pan fry? Okay. How about a nice fresh spring roll? Okay, no fry, no fry. What did you do? Is something wrong? She said my seven layer dip was a communal exchange of high cholesterol. It starts with a blocked artery and ends with a blocked chakra. What does that even mean? Look, my boss might seem to think you can do no wrong, but I know what this is. You'll just temp somewhere else for three weeks to make up the difference between how much you got paid for an Instagram post about mushroom powder and the cost of your next silent retreat while I'm left here to make divide work in hopes of earning an average salary raise in meaningless title change. I know you don't wanna be here. So why can't you just back me up? Chris from accounting is bringing rotisserie chicken. And that makes four, four rotisserie, rotisserie chickens. chickens. Wow. Don't do it. I have to make sure it's hormone free. We're not aligned, Vanessa. Yes, Spirit called me to assist this bloated office, but I reassured you that I was here to bring forth your vision. A communal exchange of nourishment not only encourages community, but it reclaims your time. You may be an unstoppable force, but your boss is an immovable object. Honey, flow elsewhere. I didn't want to say it earlier because I do eat dairy, but sour cream is kind of gross. And I mean seven layer dip, 
Six is more than enough. It's more than enough. See, now we're thinking abundantly. I brought you something. Still a nut dip, sis. It's not. It's Isn't vegan it? queso. Cashew nut dip. Vegan. Label it. Vegan. Label it. We don't Cuff subscribe to labels here. Section 10. We don't subscribe Point two. to labels here. Look, I'm all out of EpiPens. Okay? Company boat party, summer 2019. All of them gone. Shrimp. Okay? Lot of shrimp. Cocktail. Skewers. Ceviche. The omega-3. Bubba Gump had nothing on us. In a bad way. You still have to label it. I'm director of associates, so it's a no. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this episode of This Could Have Been an Email, episode three. Y'all, wild, just wild. Thank you again to our amazing Indiegogo backers. It is because of y'all we were able to bring episodes two and three into fruition. And now we go back to the drawing board to figure out what we're going to do for episodes four and five. So if the spirit moves you and you've enjoyed the content, consider hitting us up with a super thanks. If everyone hits us up with a $2 super thanks, that'd be like amazing. And that'll help us start to figure out how we can start funding episodes four and five. Move forward with maybe pursuing another Indiegogo campaign. I don't know. Maybe that. Comments below let me know what y'all think all i need look here's what i need all i need is five people with 10 grand <laughs> that sounds absurd to say <laughs> but ask for what you need all i need is five people with ten thousand dollars each but for real thank you so much for watching this episode money aside the biggest help that you can give is to share it Share it with as many people you think will find it funny. Um, share the past episodes as well while we wait and figure out what we're gonna do for episodes four and five. Just share, share, share. That'll help so much and thank you in advance for that. Again, I'm Halise, endeavoring to persevere as always. Thank you so much for watching. This could have been an email episode three. I will hopefully be back with an update soon for the rest of the series. <laughs>